finally made it out of 2021. Thank God for that. This year, I would love to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So please, for me and for the Jellyfish Lamp, hit the subscribe button. Bye-bye. off there I'll be with you in a moment just finishing this I really am trying to um, end patient sessions when they end rather than overhang into the next session. It's a New Year's resolution. But you're here now. Thank you for uh, making it to the clinic slightly later than I suppose your usual appointment would be. Yes, we're, um, we're trying a, a new trial. So it was kind of inspired by... Uh, quiet areas and restaurants, sort of. Some of our patients suffer from uh, sensitivity to outside uh, noises, lights, this kind of thing. Really just, uh, they get overly stressed if there's too much going on. So we decided in the evening to cut the numbers of patients in half, uh, double the length of the appointments, lower the lights, lower all the, the tone of the staff. <laughs> we try and speak more quietly and generally just take some of the anxiety out of what can be a little bit of a stressful experience. Like I say, it's, a, it's only a trial, but promising results so far. We find it's a lot easier to treat patients who are relaxed and receptive. <laughs> Great, okay. Well, as the uh, name would suggest, Today we're going to do a head to toe exam. We're not going to spend particularly long on each area as there is a lot to cover. Um, but it's a good indication of your cognitive abilities, your uh, muscles are functioning correctly. If there's any injuries anywhere, any um, areas of concern, uh, any breathing difficulties, then this is a good way to catch them early. Okay, they're just routine. Good, let's start with your height, weight, blood pressure. I'm so sorry to be taking your weight at Christmas, but what can you do? Okay, so. Just uh, relax your shoulders, square them off. Straighten up your back if you could. And if you could just Stand up as tall and as straight as you can, okay? Just shoulders down, there we go. Okay. Put that there. So, looks to be about 172, okay. Or you won't be surprised to learn that you have not grown. <laughs> okay, everybody's least favorite. You could just take a step onto the scales, which should be in front of you. Yep, that's the one. Just there. I'm gonna pop this on. There's a little bar at the top we need to move over. Please just try and stay as still as possible. There we go. Yeah, okay. I'd be pleased to know that you have not gained any significant weight since your last check, really, within a pound or two. <laughs> um, blood pressure check. So, 
I'm just going to put a cuff around your arm and uh, I'm then going to tighten it with a pump, okay? It's going to get quite tight, but it's, it shouldn't hurt. Right, just either arm. feel some slight pressure as I uh, tighten the cuff but just let me know if it's painful okay that there okay good okay. okay good perfectly normal and healthy So far, same height, basically the same weight, same blood pressure, which is all in a healthy range. Mm. Okay, let's do your temperature. I'm just gonna pop this into your ear here, okay? Don't worry, it shouldn't be unpleasant. Okay, ready? Yes, here. It just takes a minute to get a reading. There we go. 36.4, that's completely normal. And let's do your heart right now, okay? do this the old-fashioned way. I'm just going to find the uh, pulse in your neck and I'm going to count how many times your heart beats in a minute. All right, so it should just be about here, okay. Uh, struggling to find one. Have you considered you may be dead? Just kidding, it's there. <laughs> okay, ready? Just try and uh, relax and breathe normally. same thing okay so just finding the pulse that was easier this time okay ready says here that you had a chest infection sometime in late 2019. Uh, still noticing anything, uh, any fallout from that? No long lasting effects. Uh, exercise okay, no trouble breathing. Okay. I mean that's normal. Sometimes when people have quite severe infections in the chest, it can take a couple of years to, to clear. Some patients, I'm afraid, actually never go back to normal, but it's quite rare. Okay, um, good. I'm just going to pop the end of this uh, just a little bit down your top. If you could just undo the top button, you don't need to, to take off the whole shebang, don't worry. 
the heating is on now. <laughs> Just that button there. Okay, so uh, can I give you some breathing pattern instructions? Okay, if you could just uh, follow the rhythm of three, two, three. So that's three seconds on the inhale, two seconds uh, holding, and then three seconds on the exhale. I am going to change that up as we go. Okay, but for now, just. seconds on the inhale, hold it for three and then out for four. Good. And down here. Okay. Yeah, just carry on with the deep breaths. Really try and fill your lungs to their capacity. I don't hear any obstructions. Doesn't seem like there's any phlegm or excess, uh, any debris left from the uh, the illness. Okay, if you could just cough, I'm gonna go down this side. Big deep breath in, hold it, let out a small cough, just to, <laughs> should be fine. And then uh, four on the exhale, okay? Just a little cough, and then another one. All right, let's do the back now. Okay. Yeah, just gonna start here. Okay. Just carrying on with those big deep breaths in. Hold it for a couple of seconds, and then long, slow exhale. Yep, um, let's go down here. Okay. Okay, this time if you could just hold your breath for well, five, 10 seconds. Big deep breath and then hold it. Okay, keep holding. All right, now exhale. Good, and one last area, just right down at the back. Big, big deep breath in. Okay, and just hold that. And let it out. Good, no uh, lasting negative effects, it seems. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna do an overall trek now. Um, head, temples, neck, arms, back, legs, all right. This may seem like a lot, but I'm just looking for a few key things first. All right, so if you could just relax and start by just tipping your head forwards I'm just gonna use the, uh, the low light for this one. Shouldn't blind you. All right, head forward. Okay. Yeah. No head injuries, that's great. I don't see any dry skin, also good. No redness on us. I'm gonna check your lymph nodes now. That's these bits here. Well, it's two of them. You have more than two. Okay. They don't feel swollen. That's great. I'm going to check the back of your neck. I mean, it's quite tight, but I don't feel any uh, any problems besides that. No soreness here. Besides, you know, 
the soreness that we all get from just getting older. <laughs> okay, that's good. Sorry about the uh, the white. If you could just look down, just want to look at your top lids. Mm. See any redness? That's good. And you suffer from tension headaches, it's said, on your file. And that tends to be in uh, this region, around your orbital bone to your temple. Not feeling any tension now, are you? It's going to press in lightly here. Alright, just close your eyes for this bit. I'm just going to tap lightly around your eyes. It's going to Press down on your sinus region. Okay. If you could just show me your teeth. Get a fresh tongue depressor. I uh, just open wide and say, "Ah." Oh. It's gonna get a bit of light in here. Hmm. Any previous uh, run-ins with tonsillitis? Have you contracted COVID within the past two years? No, okay, that's good. Hmm. I see a couple of, I will not call them white spots, but slightly bright spots towards the back, which is a little concerning, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's done like this. Uh, just say R again. Hmm. Have you consumed quite a lot of alcohol this week? That could be a contributing factor. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a concern, but if your throat starts to feel particularly sore or uh, abnormal, then definitely do come back in. Okay the uh, perfect time for it, sadly, this time of year. Okay. Um, it's fine. If you just raise your arms out to the side, just gonna pad them down. Don't let me push them down. That's fine. If you could just turn your head like this. All the way as far as it will go. Okay, and if you could just turn it all the way that way. Range of motion in your neck seems fine. Uh, look up to the sky. Right back. Just gonna press here gently. If you could just gulp. And again. Okay, and now just look down. Mm -hmm. Good. Now just neutral position, straight ahead. Okay, if you could hold your arms out in front of you, like this, like Superman. Just gonna try and push them down. Okay. If you could just Keep your arms like this and your hands, palms like this. I'm gonna push against them. Don't let me push them back, okay? Okay, now the opposite, just push them forwards. Don't let me push the opposite way. Okay, now arms by your sides, like a penguin. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and push them out and you guessed it, don't let me. <laughs> Good, that's fine. Upper body strength seems perfectly fine. Uh, no pain while doing that. Mm. A little bit in the shoulder, okay. On which exercise? 
pushing out. Okay. Uh, this arm. Just raise your arm up again if you could slowly. I'm gonna feel your uh, deltoid. That's this muscle here. Well, you actually have three, but I'm gonna feel the uh, side one. And just lower it down. Any pain while doing that? You could just put your arm out like this as if you were a truck driver <laughs> going along the, the motorway and just like it rotate your arm until it's a, a right angle and let me know if there's any pain in this area, okay? Mm, a little bit at the top. Uh, I mean, it could be a rotated graft issue, it could be an impingement, trap nerve. Um, I will put a note next to that for a possible physio referral, okay? Yes, sadly as a GP that's, I mean I know the basics but you, you really need a specialist for rotator cuffs, shoulders, impingement, any, any issues like that. Uh, asterisk, Dr. Roberts slash physio referral. Unfortunately, that is private, but it's very reasonable. I think it's about 25 pounds a session. Um, okay. Um, incidentally, there's no corresponding pain in that leg, is there? Okay, just sit right back in the chair so that the backs of your knees are pushing up against the, uh, the side of the chair. You need this little hammer. It's not really a hammer, it's a, it's a very lightweight little plastic, plastic bell. And I'm just gonna lightly tap at certain points on your leg and it should go like that. <laughs> Ready? Okay, and this one? Yep. And behind your foot. And this foot. Good, I'm just gonna go here, ready, good, over here, good, okay, mm -hmm. if you could straighten your leg out, straight as it'll go, and the other one, mm. and put it back, any pain there, okay, could be a posture issue, I don't know if you've got a corresponding pain in the leg. Again, a physio will be able to assess you much better for that, but this is why we do these uh, exams, to catch things like this. Before it gets chronic and you can't walk. That was a joke. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna have a little look in your eyes. We shall use the quite bright light. We'll start off quite bright and then we're gonna get a little bit dimmer. It's gonna move back slightly, okay. Now, I would like you to cover this eye, okay? And like you did, look straight ahead here. And in my hand, I have a light. I'm just gonna flash it at uh, certain intervals in your peripheral vision. And I just want you to tell me when you see it flash, okay? Don't look at the light, pretty straightforward. Okay, looking here, covering this eye. Just let me know when you see the flash. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now covering the sun. Same thing again. Okay, just 
going back to the other eye, keeping your vision straight ahead. I'm going to hold the light here and I'm going to progressively move it out of your vision. And I just want you to tell me when it leaves your vision, okay? When you can no longer see it. This just gives me a reasonable idea of your uh, the boundaries of your peripheral, okay? Looking here. Start off nice and easy. Great. Just tell me when you no longer see the light. Good. 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 Mm. Start here, move out. Good. Starting here, moving outwards. Starting here, moving outwards. Good. And cover the opposite eye, okay? Just keeping your head very still, okay? Keeping your head still. Okay. Just letting me know when it disappears. Mm -hmm. Okay, sticking with the light theme. It's okay, you can uncover your eye and blink for a second. Yep, okay, good. Okay, either focusing on my ear or a point on the wall behind me, either the x-ray or uh, any of the lovely background. Um, I am going to cover this eye and then I am going to shine light into your eye, okay? And all you have to do is just look straight forwards. Pretty easy. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Sure you've done this test before? It's known as the swinging flashlight test. And I'm checking to see that your pupils dilate when uh, light is shone directly into them. And now I'm going to heart in the middle. Just create a dividing line down your face and now I'm going to check that the opposite eye is dilating. This is called the concentrical response. This is direct, direct, and this is concentrical. Good, and now we're going to do the same with the opposite eye, okay? So just covering this eye, either looking at my ear or a point on the wall behind me, I'm just gonna briefly shine the light into your eye to check that the direct response is functional, which it appears to be very good. I'm really sorry for blinding you. It is sadly necessary. And now we're going to do the same again. Divide and check the consensual response, which, surprise, surprise, is working perfectly. Hmm. Okay, good. Feel free to blink a few times. Yes, it uh, can be a little unpleasant. I apologize. This light isn't quite so bright. However, I do have to come in quite close. So um, there is that. It's going to briefly have a look in the back of your eyes now. Okay. We'll start with this one since we were already working on that one. Okay. All right. Uh, I will be coming pretty close, but only for a very brief period. All right, just finding the thing. There it is. Okay. Just looking at my ear. I'm looking upwards to the sky. Now looking down. Looking to your right. Looking to your left. 
looking diagonally up and right, diagonally up and left, down and left, Let's go down and right, back to the center and just looking at my ear, okay, good, blink, I mean, it's not mandatory, but it does help. Better? Okay. So let's just cover this eye. Right? Do the same again. Okay. Just looking at my ear. Okay, if you could look up. And uh, look to your left and to your right. Mm -hmm. Up and left, up and right, down and left, down and right. Back to the center. Mm. Good. I need to blink a few times after that. That seems perfect. Okay. Just need to record a few things. Mm -hmm. How are you finding the relaxed pace and lower light uh, evening medical session experience? <laughs> we really need a name for it. Good. Would you uh, be willing to take a questionnaire at the end, give some feedback? It's really just about improving the patient experience while giving our staff a break. We. Uh, we tend to work at a million miles an hour, so any chance we can get to just kind of breathe <laughs> is great. All right, let's do the slightly funky one. <laughs> I need this, this, and the brain pads. Yep, you heard me correctly, I did say brain pads. It's quite simple. So in your previous uh, insomnia treatment, we looked at several courses and obviously we had quite a lot of success with the ASMR treatments. Yeah. Yes. So today we are going to continue down that path. I've got some pads. Don't worry, they're sanitized. And I'm going to place these onto each side of your temple. They're very, very comfortable, don't worry. They're basically just plasters. Yep, okay. Don't worry, they peel off easily. They won't rip your hair out. Okay. Just see if they're coming through on the machine. the autonomous sensory meridian response program one that essentially means while uh, we monitor your brain waves for uh, perceptibility susceptibility to uh, different stimuli i'm going to be reading you some words okay these are words that during the asmr tests uh, indicated quite a strong result so you're susceptible to these particular words it would seem and we're just going to measure them on the computer via the uh, little pads. All right, let's run the program. You're more than welcome to close your eyes if you wish, okay? I'm just going to be going ear to ear and repeating some words, phrases, 
I'll probably throw a few random ones in there. Uh, please just try and relax. The more comfortable you are, the uh, more accurate the response will be. Okay? Ready? Okay. Very good. Well done. Hmm. Decent response. Let's try and quick good lower lashes. Let's try and quick good, 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 good. This obviously depends quite a lot. England, so I say good, 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 Too bad, was it? <laughs> Good, okay. I mean, it seems un uh, irregular, it seems irregular, but if you don't embrace new treatments, new methodologies, then medicine becomes stale and outdated. We are pretty good at treating most diseases. Um, broken bones are pretty good with that kind of thing, but uh, surprisingly insomnia, mental issues, anxiety, that kind of thing. If there are any treatments that we can look at that might be some kind of breakthrough or way forwards or offer something positive, then we uh, absolutely would be doing ourselves a disservice if we did not pursue them. So this seems to have promising results. It's uh, pretty remarkable something that can cancel out one's anxiety, help you sleep, and you don't even need a pill. So, um, it's kind of a cognitive behavioral therapy really, but anyway, good. It's good to have some actual graphical data there. Okay, we've done most of the, um, we've done most of the overall checks. I just want to, have a brief look in your ears. Okay. You can, of course, book in for a full ear examination and hearing check, but uh, this is just a relatively rudimentary 
check just to make sure there's no glaring issues, no infections. Do you struggle with, uh, with hearing? Any history of deafness in the family? Any relatives wear a hearing aid? Okay. I uh, don't see any excessive wax buildup, which is good. Your ears look well, ma well maintained, which is also good. Um, don't see any blockages or congestion, also good. Mm -hmm. Okay. All good in that side. If you could just turn your head that way slightly, it helps me to see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay. Pretty much the same story on this side. No uh, congestion, or well, minimal congestion. There's obviously a little bit of wax, but that's normal, healthy. Too much is a bad thing, but it seems to be within a completely normal range. Um, no sign of infection. No swelling. Any tenderness? Nope. You can see you've got a piercing there or a piercing hole. Yeah, I also have my ears pierced. We were all young and adventurous once. It's not very adventurous, is it really? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Seems to feel absolutely fine. Uh, okay, I'm just. Mm. I'm just gonna clear that bit of wax on the uh, part of your anti helix. Just kind of lodged in there. It's not serious, but I mean, while we're here, I might as well just keep looking that way. Break that down with a little bit of uh, spray. Good. Perfectly harmless. It just uh, helps to break up the hard earwax and allow me to remove it better. Good. There we go. You can do this with a syringe, but it's more pleasant this way tend to use a syringe for really deep wax that's been pushed into the ear canal, which you can get from using Q-tips, but clearly you don't, which is good. Okay. You can do the same on the other side. A little bit of spray. And here. Let's get a new tool, obviously. Want to always be hygienic. Okay, yeah, same scenario. Just lightly chipping away at that until it breaks free, which it isn't doing. Cognitively, I am pretty happy with uh, the exam. Seems absolutely fine, very healthy. Um, Muscle-wise, also fine, other than the possible impingement in your shoulder, which I suspect might also be a rotator cuff uh, issue. Do you uh, go to the gym regularly? Do you lift heavy weights? Okay, well, it could be to do with that. <laughs> Been there myself. Um, yes, no further issues anywhere else. Um, we didn't check your balance, actually, did we? 
I mean, you wouldn't be able to do half the tasks if you didn't have balance, but we might as well be thorough. Okay, just look at me. I'd just like you to, with your feet in line, take your foot, your lead foot, whichever one's further forwards, and place it directly behind this one. So just take one step back, but moving your feet in a line like that, okay? Okay, and then just do the same thing in reverse. So from the back to the front. Okay. I'm gonna briefly ask you to stand on one leg if you can. Just for a couple seconds. Good, okay. And very lastly, if you could just take one step, two steps actually to your left, sorry, my left, your right. And then back, okay. And then that way, and then back. Very good. We do the different directions because, well, it's actually from boxing when the uh, opponent gets knocked down and they used to tell them to walk forwards, but apparently anybody can stumble forwards even uh, if you're impaired or um, possibly concussed. But in order to move sideways and back, it takes a little bit more um, coordination which if you were concussed, you probably wouldn't be able to do. However, you aren't concussed and you can do it, which leads me to conclude that your balance is fine. Good, all right, let's just write that last bit down along with a couple of recommendations. I would like to take you off the night hall how regularly do you take the sleeping pills? Okay, I would like to try, if you could, a couple of changes to your sleep routine. So your ASMR response results were pretty good. Um, if we can use a course of treatment that isn't medicated, then we'll definitely always pursue that option before looking to medicines because obviously you know the more the less we can put in your body and to get it to do it on its own the better so what i suggest is changing your sleeping habits at home by start with your lighting and um tvs playstations xboxes phones these kind of things switch them off um half hour to an hour before bed unless it's to watch ASMR or some kind of sleep induction, that's okay. But if you're gonna do that, turn the brightness down, okay? Uh, but no murder mysteries, no Netflix, nothing that's gonna stimulate your brain uh, before sleep and also provide lots of uh, flashing images. That's not good. Um, secondly, I'd like you to Try searching for some sleep inductions or ASMR. Try and make that part of your uh, bedtime routine at night. You can wear headphones, you can use speakers, um, but I'd like to slowly wean you off the night hall and try and see if we can just get you to relax naturally. You can take a shower before bed. A lot of people think it's the warmth of the shower that makes you tired when you get out. It's actually the drop in temperature when you get out of the shower that makes you tired. So if you want to take a bunch of that, then a nighttime bath before bed helps with the tiredness. Make sure the room temperature isn't too warm, which sounds strange for this kind of year, at this time of year, but uh, your body temperature drops when you sleep. So if the room's too warm, you're not going to sleep properly. Um, the last thing is try and disengage from social media and replying to messages, emails, work, any kind of external stresses that are going to cause any kind of anxiety or, or make you think. Obviously, we live in a 24 hour connected world, so that's easier said than done. But if you can stick to these 60% of the time, 70, 80%, you will see a massive change in your uh, sleep, your alertness levels, your energy levels, okay? 
I've got your physio referral here. I'm going to send a copy of your uh, ASMR sleep graph to um, your insomnia treatment center. And I will see you again in two months and we'll check how that's working out, okay? Lovely, well, it's been a pleasure. I very much enjoyed this um, change of pace from my usual day to day. I'm glad you enjoyed it too, it's great to hear. Thank you. See you in a couple of months, bye-bye.